Hey everybody, Michelle here from Alaska Raceway Park. It is Tuesday, it's time for Tuesday Track Talk. Um, happy end of June. We are here busy gearing up for the 4th of July weekend, but I wanted to let you know about a few things before we got started. Um, first off, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the Alaska Army National Guard who has stepped up this season. They're not only sponsoring 4th of July weekend, but they are also sponsoring our bomber stock and our sportsman stock classes. So um, we super appreciate that. Um, the Alaska Army National Guard is a great way to uh, serve your country from the comforts of home. You get to serve just one weekend a month, uh, train two weeks a year, and the um, in Alaska, our National Guard not only protects our country and our state, but they provide search and rescue assistance, and they also help other, during other domestic emergencies. So thank you to the Alaska Army National Guard for supporting racing in Alaska, but also what they do for Alaskans as a whole. Next is a little notice about tires for our late models, Baby Grands and Thunderstocks. Um, our Connex supply is getting a little low. So if you think you're gonna need additional tires before the season is over, get with me ASAP. Uh, we are looking to put in the second order by July 7th at the latest. We were getting some things moved back around after Summerfest last weekend. Um, speaking of weekends, after this weekend, if you are parked out there in the asphalt someplace um, in the pits, you are going to need to move your trailers um, or motorhomes or whatever for Race Wars. Race Wars is Saturday, July 10th. Um, you can move your stuff to the red lot. You can put it out here in South Park. You can take your stuff home. Um, whatever is going to be best, but we do need to get the pits clears out for this race event. More information about race wars in just a second. Hazards of living by a small airport, right? Um, some more information about Race Wars can be found online on their Facebook page. We look forward to having the guys back for the car shows, limbo contests, um, show and shine, um, as well as uh, racing. Next, some updated information for 4th of July weekend. Um, as you can see, we have some new fencing up in the pit areas, including a gate, which is over here, um, that separates the drag pits from the oval pits. Uh, we are very fortunate to have a lot of new racers this season, and so we need the extra space for their track rigs. Um, so NAS on NASCAR race days, uh, you'll only be allowed on that side of the gate if you have an oval track pit pass, which is available online when you get your weekend wristband purchase. Um, once we finish the first reach feature race, we're going to go ahead and open up the gate so that uh, folks can leave for the weekend. Um, or if you are camping here, you can enter and come in. And that should be about mm, approximately 715 or so. It just kind of depends on um, how many on track incidents we have before we get into the feature race. So um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Um, to enter the oval pits on race day, you will need to come up here on pit road, uh, go in and park. Um, if for some reason you need to leave before the feature race starts, you can cruise around over here um, and then come out and exit out pit road. Or if uh, that's not going to work out for whatever rig you're driving, you can contact our amazing security guy, Robert, and he can assist you with getting the gate open so that you can leave. Um, this weekend, Friday, the pits open at three o'clock. For those of you that want to get settled in early, you will need a weekend band and parking to enter the pits. So get yours online today at raceak.com. Uh, just click on the Saturday tab. That'll get you the weekend bands and weekend parking. Um, admission for the weekend for adults is $60. It's 50 for military and seniors and 30 for youth. Uh, that includes your pit pass. So come on in, enjoy the weekend, get settled and spend the whole weekend watching stuff. Oh, here comes Chris. He's moving some stuff around too. Um, so Saturday is our NASCAR and INEX races with gates opening at three, qualifying at five, and racing is at six. Sunday and Monday feature top eliminators and full points races. Gates open at 10, time trials are at 11, and eliminations are at two. Mm -hmm. 
We look forward to seeing everybody at the track this weekend. So if I don't see you at the races, I'll see you here right here next week at Tuesday Track Talk.